Hi, my name's Keith Cooper from North Light Images and um, this is just a quick video to introduce some kit that I'm testing. It is um, somewhat more complex than a lot of bits of kit I get to look at. This is the new Aragon lens kit for, for super macro micro photography from Lauer. Now I've got it set up here. I've had to make a new uh, mounting assembly. I will have a detailed look at this and the articles and various things. This is really just a, a, a sort of quick look showing you what there is and a request for anyone who's got any specific questions um, that, uh, about this stuff, what it does, um, let me know in the comments or email me at Northlight Images. Um, there are quite a few challenges involved in using doing, taking photographs at this scale. Now, what is the lens? Well, you can see it's a long, thin lens. It's actually two lenses. The first lens is this section here, and this is the objective. And what you've got is a lens at the front here, which is effectively like a microscope objective. It sends out the light out the back, and then you have a secondary tube lens, which is in a tube, um, and that lens is this section here and it has a G mount. Um, so I'm testing this on a GFX 100S. Now, interestingly enough, and I've got a sample image here I took of uh, an electronic, an old electronic component, an old chip here. This is for people who know such things, an 8255A parallel interface uh, unit used for microprocessors, very common chip. One I've designed in previous careers, ones I've designed into quite a lot of things. I know the, how to use this chip quite well. Um, here it is, not quite all of it. This is 10 magnification I'm getting out of this. That means with the 33 by 44 millimeter sensor here, and it, it works obviously in full frame as well, but it covers the full medium format sensor here. It means 33 by 44, I am getting an image at 10 times magnification of an area that is just 3.3 by 4.4 millimeters. And that's at 100 megapixels. So that's the whole image there. Um, it really is tricky to focus. I've got this mounted on a stack shot rail. Now that's this assembly here. It's controlled by this, this uh, controller here so I can move it and you can see it moves backwards and forwards. Normally I would have this mounted on the studio stand here. I've used this for several years for macro photography at two to three magnification for electronic components and various other things, not at this sort of thing. Now, I mentioned there's actually a lens kit. There's obviously this, the front part of the lens, the objective. There is the tube. The tube is what gives the magnification. Uh, it has an aperture control uh, it's called a numerical aperture. It's not the same as your f-ratios you get on normal lenses, but a lot of things are different when you get to macro and super macro. This goes between 0.15 and 0.5. And eight. Now, I'll have an explanation of this when I do the full review and have it actually in an article, and I'll look some more details at why you would choose different settings. But there's a lot more to it, and it turned up in this small suitcase, um, a suitcase of lenses. i just open this up. Um, the Aragon 10 to 50 NAO 0.5 Super Micro Apo. Um, yeah, it is pretty much, uh, um, you know, there's very little chromatic aberration. If I open up this lens, it's a box here. Um, you can see the other tubes now. Um, I've got the shortest 10 magnification tube in this at the moment. There is the one you would use for 20 magnification. There is the one you would use for 35. And this thing you would use for 50 magnification. You would attach the objective off that one that's mounted up there onto this. Uh, there is your lens mount at the end. It's completely manual. There's no electronics on it. So it is effectively the camera shooting with no lens there. But anyway, there are the set of them. I will be going all the way up to 50, but I wanted to just experiment with 10 times. If I can get some shots at 10, then I've got a chance of it working. The depth of field, I'll just lock this lot away again. Just take suitable care of it. There we go. 
the depth of field is incredibly thin, uh, even at 10 times. I took quite a few attempts at lining things up and I've used, and I used this, this is this um, lamp I, I showed in a video the other day, very good for lighting things like this. Um, I've used an assortment of Regetti um, tripod gear and yeah, various attachments for controlling that. I've got the stack shot here. Um, I've got all these bits and pieces set up on here to uh, to control it. I can move it, I can adjust it. It's still not perfect for this. It's a lot of work to get it. Now, I don't shoot macro of insects, flowers and stuff like that. I've just not really gone interest. I use macro photography commercially, mainly in electronic industries, producing shots for people. So I'm very interested in this. That's the whole shot. There's an example magnified of it. And you can see copyright Intel 1976-8255A. Um, that looks a little soft, but you remember that's 100% magnification of a 100 megapixel image of something that's only three millimeters, 3.3 by 4.4 millimeters. Um, it's a phenomenal bit of kit. My biggest problem is actually using the Fuji GFX tethered. Um, I have software which will control it that I've used for years. And in fact, I have my old Canon 5DS connected up as well, purely just so I can run the software, the, the Helicon uh, software. Now, I put some notes to stuff I've published in the past on this, uh, to it, but yeah. It's an impressive bit of kit, this. I've got the uh, slide rings here for mounting it. So I'm actually mounted to the lens here. There's a different type of tube. If you need an extension tube for one of the longer tubes, that's one of that. They come as a sort of separate kit here. But there you have it. Um, it works. Um, I had to make up a new, this bit of board here has got various things mounted. Had to make up an entire new assembly for doing this. Um, I'm going to try and get some shots at 50, but at 50 times magnification, your depth of field is measured in microns, the steps you need to do it. Um, it is very difficult to do anything as a single shot. This is not a macro lens you're just going to take out in the garden and just take some pictures of insects that happen to be wandered by. Not unless they're very flat, very thin, very stationary insects. Um, things move. But anyway, um, there it is. Nice bit of kit. Um, I've got to see what I can actually do with it. But please, if you've got any questions, and if you know of good tethering solutions for the GFX 100S I've got here that do not include C1, I do not have a copy of Capture One. I've tried using it. I really do not like using it. Um, I guess I will use the, you know, if, if the free version supports this, I'll, I'll, I'll use it that comes with this. Um, but I really would rather not like it. Um, I like it slightly more than I like Lightroom. And I don't like Lightroom much. Um, but if needs must, we will do whatever we need. But I never bought the GFX 100S for macro photography like this. That is what my trusty 5DS is here. That has earned me uh, plenty of money doing micro and macro shots over the years. And um, that's why it's still connected up here and will be used. But this, you now have a macro lens, well, micro lens, that covers the full medium format sensor of this. So let me know any questions, anything like that, and um, I'll see if I can produce some more interesting looking pictures, uh, hopefully properly in focus as well. So thanks for watching and uh, thank you.